Hey YouTube, I just wanted to make another little video here. Um, I made up some wax slugs, 12 gauge, that I want to try. I got the idea from making these from like Iraq Veteran 88 and other YouTube pages and stuff like that. And I was always curious just to see what wax slugs are like. I got six made with seven and a half shot and six made with number eight shot. And the tops of some of them kind of look like they have a bit of a hollow point. You can see the shot through some of them. So they're kind of sloppily made, but they'll still work. So I'm going to pump them out of my... Uh, connect the fender here the cylinder bore choke just my little stubby shotgun one of them anyway just deal with this one the wooden one see what it's like so I don't the only thing I don't like though about these things though is that I've seen on YouTube and stuff like that that when you shoot these type of rounds you can only shoot one at a time so you can't load them in the magazine too because I don't think they'll cycle properly I don't think with a pump action anyway so you don't want to be cycling through it like you can normal ammunition so you can only fire one shot at a time but i'd kind of like to get like a double barrel or something like that just some cheap fucking side by side narinko something like that for this because if i like these i'm gonna make more i think these are uh, pretty cool so i think wax slugs are actually a pretty neat idea so you can actually shoot a slug and still be you know don't have to spend a lot of money on factory ones so and I've seen YouTube videos where they actually do blow the piss out of stuff so it's kind of a neat concept so I got 12 shots so I want to see what they're like and they're very very easy to make you just take a pot melt some candles down and then I've seen people use crayons too but I went with candle wax after you because you got to cut the crimp off and then you dump the shot out and then you uh, pour the shot into the wax once it's melted and then you just take a spoon and spoon it back into the shotgun shell and let them sit in hard and very easy and you got to make sure too you push the wads down all the way also because I notice that the wads like to come up a bit so make sure you push them back down into the shell up against the powder properly so that doesn't happen but yeah I figured what the hell I'll go for it see what these things are like if I like them I'm gonna load up the rest of my shotgun shells like these cheap old ones is I just bought some cheap Winchester target loads so nothing expensive so what the hell if I like them I'm gonna load the rest of them up like this and make a whole bunch of them so yeah that's pretty neat see ya